all right, I just wanted to go over some of the nodes, secret nodes in Fusion that I think are the best and the ones that you should know about and or know how to use. So if you don't know what these are, you, the whole Patrick Sterling video on all the secret effects that you have, the bunch of presets that Resolve made and gave to us that, so we can see how stuff is made. But we can go up to our effects tab over here, go to our tools, and then we have a templates tab and then type, uh, search for these. I don't know where these are exactly in my bin because I have so many other effects and stuff over here, but you can scroll and probably find them. But uh, I'm just going to show you my top five, I think are the best to, to the use so first one is going to be the alpha edge and so this one it basically makes a border out of whatever has over here it's kind of like edge detect but you need an alpha which is meaning nothing uh, no image in order to create this uh this uh edge over here and then you could control it uh the edge these this control over here and then you have all these other controls which are uh pretty cool to use and so yeah i think this is that's pretty cool that they have this and uh let's go to the next one which is going to be the paper uh texture i usually take down the lift a little bit so i can see more of the text Texture, but I recently found out about this node. It's just like a nice background you can just put on something, something that's just different than just regular background node, just putting white over it. So that's a nice little texture, a nice little thing to mix it up. All right, next thing we have is the chromatic aberration. And so this is different than the prism blur. This one actually gives you aberration. So if you crank this up a little bit, you can see that the blue and the red, they are separated. And it's, yeah, it's different than the prism blur. Let me just pull that up real quick. Prism blur. And then we take this oops and go here you can see this one is green and purple it's not really what you're looking for when you're looking for like an chromatic aberration which is this over here all right next is the noise gradient so this one they have is a nice little setup of pre-made noises that they have it just shows you like how uh, op the, the noise note is like this is like a flame kind of texture which is pretty cool then we have another one which is over here which is like a laser beam and then we have this plasma kind of look we have this log looking texture and then some uh, uh, lines like this all right one more note i forgot to mention that is in the effects folder is the posterous node this node it basically blurs the image but allows you to combine a bunch of colors together to get a more simple light, simple image if you looked at my topography tutorial on there i was mentioning that we didn't have a posterized node but apparently we did and it was actually in here the whole time in which this vision had but uh, basically what we can do here is if we take a noise like this and we have our noise here and let's take the posterized effect put it into here it lessens the amount of detail that's there let's like actually bring this down a little bit so now we have stuff like this and then if we put the edge detect here you can see that it makes our topography just like that and i believe if we increase the contrast then we start getting more of that detail just like that yeah that's just something that's pretty cool but yeah and the last one is going to be the tube 3d so this one is a crazy macro whoever made it uh a tube a 3d tube i use it in this mograph monday over here but yeah this is pretty dope tool all right yeah the 3d tube effect so we have it over here there's a bunch of things we could do to change it we could basically it's just a big ring a big donut that's just squared off instead of the actual torus you get in like the 3d shape node but yeah it's a different 3d shape that you could use that's a bunch of other controls that are really nice i think the way that you color each one of these is you actually add a background node hold down alt and then connect it to your tube and then you can pick which what you want to uh change the color of so let's just say let's change the end, the end of the slices that are on the end of it to black just like that and yeah that, that's just a pretty cool uh in integration that they have that means you can also put like textures and stuff on the ring itself and uh yeah so those are the five hidden nodes that you should know about